The book is the effort of over 20 years of work based from version one, or edition one, to the fifth edition. And data communications has changed immensely in that period of time. This is a book that every maintenance technician should have. It certainly gives you all the operating characteristics of industrial networks. It tells you where a bridge is used, where you use a switch, where you use a repeater, where you use a gateway. It tells you how you route. As Mr. Santana said, George Santana, if you don't study history, you're doomed to repeat it. It's very easy to understand the electrical parts of it by just doing it historically, starting with the telegraph, moving to the telepathwriter, and then up into modern data communications. The motives and the motivation haven't changed. It's just how we do it, and the fact that everything is so much smaller now than it used to be, so much faster, and so much cheaper. In datacom history, if you understand the history of it, is to understand the technology. The real cost of electronics is the only area I know where the true cost, the actual cost, when you take away inflation and all the rest of it, the actual cost has come down while the value has gone up. If you don't believe me, look at a 1953 color television. If you had it, you bought an RCA round tube for approximately $500. I guess it had lots of knobs in the front, and you used most of them. There was no clicker. You had to get up out of the chair and turn the channel. Then you had to do what? Fine tune. Then you had to adjust for the vertical you know, roll and the horizontal flop. And finally, when you got all straightened out, you could adjust the cover, which you had to do between commercials. If you'd actually look at it, $500 is worth now, that, that from then, which is about $5,000. What can you buy? You wouldn't spend anywhere near that much money. You get this humongous flat screen, got a remote control, and the thing flips one time, you go buy another one. The microprocessor has made all this possible. And for that, I say thank you, Sputnik.